So there's obviously no way we're going to go to every shoe. Yeah, that, that would be, you would have to be here until tomorrow. Yeah, but let's start with the most aesthetically pleasing collection. It's the Jordan ones. Jordan ones, yeah. I'm so far, I'm so, can I curse? Yeah, go okay. for it. No, I'm just so glad that uh, we're finally doing this. It feels like we've been talking about doing this for like years and years and Literally, years. Literally, it's been I think at least three years. We did like the... Um, the, little se the lockdown series. The lockdown series. The lockdown so that was, that was quite, quite cool. But obviously that was like in the old space, you know. I also feel like this, um, almost as if like it had to come at the right time. Yeah, exactly. The closet yeah. was the right size. Exactly. You know, you're back out with the new film coming out. Right. Uh, you know, we're back in like output flow. Absolutely. We've got so many videos rolling and the whole country is waiting to see your closet, man. It's I thought you were going to say my film, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so glad that like we didn't end up doing like a detailed closet on the old space when everything was like in Trans scrunched into like a room, you know. So for me, sneakers is like... It's like, I like to collect things that I love, like even the movies you can see and the music and stuff. The value of it is an afterthought. It's not the first parameter of why I buy them. I honestly buy them to wear them with different outfits. And um, it's archivable and it's collectible and it's cool and it looks great. It's just a, it's just a, I think it's a really fun hobby, like, you know. Yeah. When, you know, this started, it was, it was just shoes, right? You like the shoes. Yeah, yeah. And now it's become like a full passion for fashion. Yeah, exactly. Right? It's yeah. clothes, it's outfits, it's not just like t-shirts and hoodies. Do you see like this go further? Yeah, I think that this is now the rest of my life. I just, the thing is because it's not something that I want to like feel it in, that's so important to share with the world. Yeah, you know, it's like whoever assumes whatever they can. I, I like you stuff, man. I kind of think it has character. It's good for the environment. It's cheaper. Deeper narrative. Yeah, when you se exactly deeper. and when you sell it again, like your margins yeah. can be a lot better. Yeah. So yeah, and, I mean, and, and I mean, we're talking about net net. The collection is probably at least four x. Yeah, I think more, man. Because some know, items have like seven, eight, seven, eight x. We're in the room dedicated to your first love. Yeah. Movies. Precisely. Tell me about the room. So, uh, the first thing that I noticed when I walked into this apartment was this huge kind of space that overlooks the water. I already owned all of this kit, mm. so I was like, I can finally get out of my, my family home and build a room that is built with the equipment in mind, as opposed to kind of shoving the equipment into a room. Mm. So that's triple glazed glass that you see, um, that goes all the way around, you have wooden floors, but beneath the floor, there's sound absorbing material so that the neighbors aren't disturbed and the sound reflects back in. Same within the ceiling. This unit uh, has been specifically designed. Tell me about the equipment. This is all Macintosh equipment. Anybody that's kind of an audiophile knows. This is a processor. Mm -hmm. So this is like the brain of the system. This is a vinyl player. Sick. For all the records. And this is a Maran's power amp for all the remaining surrounds. That's a subwoofer for bass. And then you have one at the back there. CD player, Macintosh, and Oppo 4K Blu-ray player with a multi-region chip, so you can switch regions. And then movies-wise, you have what? Thousands. Thousands, thousands of, of thousands of CDs. Films. And then there is. The and then this, this I actually, <laughs> I know. I bought from StockX uh, on my friend Sahil Dunwani's card because they, <laughs> they couldn't, they wouldn't accept mine for one thousand dollars, and I don't even want to talk about how much. I mean, it's. How much is it worth? 6K, 7K? 5K? Now at least. It's crazy. So tell me about the outside space. It's uh, the first thing that kind of drew me to this place. It's just um, incredible because you have, you're right on the water obviously, but you're not uh, extremely high, so you don't evade the trees. So it, it's unlike anything else I've seen in the city. Uh, in a way where it feels like you're in Goa almost, doesn't it? 
have uh, tanning beds on each side, umbrellas to protect you from the sun and because I lie down there and read and stuff and then this is kind of where you can kind of sit and have a drink and kind of watch the sunset or the sunrise. So there's obviously no way we're going to go to every shoe. Yeah, that, that would you would have to be here until tomorrow. Yeah, but let's start with the most aesthetically pleasing collection. So Jordan ones. Jordan ones, yeah. Jordan ones. Where is the love for Jordan ones? That's from? that's kind of where it started, no, bro. The the, the madness. Was that's where it got mad. That's where it got mad. Then it was collecting. It was easy. Yeah. Off white ten. Off white ten. Yeah. Then it just. Then like, it became. Ones, dude, needed to have all of the ones. I don't know, man. I just feel like as a silhouette, maybe because with. Like you've worn ones as well. Like yeah. we're taller, we're kind of yeah, on the slimmer yeah, side. Yeah. So it just ends up looking so good, yeah, you know. And look. but yeah, man, there's 85s in there. I have the Chicago's, yeah. the Reds, the Royals, Royal. the metallic navies and the metallic reds. Mm, Next one, neutral grey. Neutral grey, UNC blue, black and white, and then more of the metallics. This is the more special rack. Some say. of the more expensive pairs. To start with, I think your first collection. The 10. The 10. Yeah. We got all the off whites. Uh, I think the apex of that whole collection would have to be the MoMA's we spoke of. Yeah, I mean, although that's not the OG 10, but whatever. Yeah, but it's signed by Virgil. Yeah, it's signed by Virgil. Um, and MoMA. I got these for four and a half thousand just before um, he passed away. And. Uh, I, I paid like 1500 cash and then a bunch of shoes and clothes. One of the best deals that I've done. But this is closet. also super rare also, man. The complex, complex ones. Of course. Very special, rare. Special. Very rare. And then I think the most special part, one of the most special parts once we get the Yeezy it's across yeah. Jordan. The Air Yeezy set, man. Yeah, That's, man. That is really something. Yeah. The rotten eggs. Not a lot of people know this, but Oh yeah, Red still October's, there a little bit. Red October's stored well, smell like rotten eggs. So one way to tell that they're legit. One way to tell or you could just take a bunch of fakes and like break some eggs, <laughs> just step into them. But uh, dude, these I, I got such a good deal on, man. This was what, 2018 or something. I paid oh. $3,300, they were worth like 10K now easily. I have 20, the box and everything. 2019 this was. Yeah, I have the box and the dust pack. You've been to the solars also. I believe I'm gonna reveal this today. I think this is I believe this is Justin Bieber's old pair. Because he sold it to Justin Reed. Um, and then Justin sold these to me. So I can't confirm that, but But we're pretty sure. We're pretty sure. We're pretty sure. <laughs> JV's Justin, old pair. JV's and he wore the shit out of them, dude. I I mean I you can tell. I don't know. But I've but seen photos. It looks. He had a lot of. I'm sure he has like five pairs. These I got together from the same seller in London with the box. I don't know if you saw, but it kind of trended. No on social media. G DJ Khaled's pair crumbled. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. mine's uh, actually even. He. I think he wore a Deadstock pair. Yeah, and that's crumbled. why it crumbled. But mine, like, I've been that's... wearing mine. Vedu Lamba's extra height. I got. I got a few inches over. <laughs> And uh, yeah, man, so these are yellow atmospheres, yellow, LA pop yellow. up. Very, very rare. I've never worn very these. Very beautiful, man. And then there is a bunch of. That's the cloth set. Yeah. And there's a bunch of lows and, uh, you know, just. Jordan, Casual. It's just Jordan lows just hanging Cash. around. Chilling. I paid resale for those and I'm still upset I about it. I see the Sakai blazer set. That, the, the Sakai waffles my dad loves. I he loves them. them. A little bit. My dad's got the Paris lows, he's got the Sakai grey and white and he's got my all white Sakai and all black Sakai. That brings us to the next section here which is organized dunks. And there's unorganized dunks on the floor. Oh yeah. So what's the story with dunks? 375 pounds. Remember? Such a steal. Look at the condition on these, dude. It's a nice shoe. So nice. Are you still wearing dunks? I am, man. I am. But dude, I just, I'm so lazy. These just wearing Converse's and Amiri's. Uh, I'm going to get back into wearing So what it. is the process? How, how do you pick out your shoes? It, the outfit comes first, Vedu. Outfit always comes first. And then you come in here? Yeah. Then I come in. So this is the lobster pack, which I really, really like. Greens, purples. Greens, 
You got the reds with the white laces, beautiful contrast. The rubber band. And I love the story with the rubber band. With the yeah. Look at that. The, the hit with the neon, no? Uh, the contrast. The laces. It's nice. Man, this doing so the video. lobster pack of shoes is all come with these rubber bands because lobsters uh, a very cruel practice of eating lobsters usually involves storing them with rubber bands to keep their claws shut. Uh, and then the gratefuls strange also. Strange loves. I love these. I love these. Yeah, I remember you fell in love with the grateful dunk pack, and I was like, "What is that?" Blah. Blah. Still not a fan. Strange loves though. Yeah, very nice. So pretty. And then these are some of like the dunks that I'm getting into more now. You'll never see these. These are just kind of like a women's release, but in a men's size. Daktari. The, these are very hard to get. And then I'll show you some more like really like rare metallic red 85s in fully wearable condition. These are like a myth. Now it's like I need to complete like the 85 set. 85 you know? set needs to be completed. Metallic navies. Beautiful. Cross pinks. Nice shoe. Vedu Ram was leaving with those, I think. He's attached. I was so happy when this came. Oh, <laughs> dude, we have to. The Kanye Babes, man. The Babes stars. I had them restored because these crack very easily. Yeah. So Nishant kind of restored. This is them. an Air Force One, but not an Air Force it's One. A babe this is a. It's a Babes sneaker. Done, called the Babe Star. That looks like an Air Force One. I was done with Kanye West on graduation. That brings me to what I really wanted to cover next was um, the designer stuff. Yeah. Tell me about them. Rick Owens, my first pair. Ramones. Beautiful. Really Beautiful. nice. Uh, Louis Vuittons. Actually, these are not something you see a lot of sneakers get into. Uh, you know, Chelsea boots and stuff. I, you like know them. how much I wear these. You yeah, know me. Yeah, the hell so out of them. I wear my midi so much with my my jeans and stuff. They're so kick-ass. Those are also so so nice. Um, really beautiful. These also midi. These are midi too. And uh, just so it's not a lot. It's not like a big passion for designer shoes. It's just like a midi, a few like LVs. But like for example, like that one purchase, right? Will set me back a pair of white cements, you know? Yeah. Well, this is the first like shoe that Virgil did. What a buy though, right? What a cop, man. The first shoe that Virgil did with LV. These are also in white and blue, but the black is more iconic. Yeah. And then uh, Rick Owens Ramones. So like that's where I'll spend my money, you know? Like one, like the Ramones, you know, will always be there. Yeah. The LVs are timeless. Yeah. That's I think that's much wiser than buying three pairs of Jordans you're not gonna wear. Yeah. 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 You know. Um, so that kind of stuff. And then these are all the chocks, dude. We haven't talked enough about the chocks. Converse yeah. is your next. I love Vedu knows I wear that shit all the time. Now we see it. Yeah, exactly. Like today he comes to do a closet tour. Everybody says I'm a big, you know, one of the bigger sneaker heads and stuff in the country. And then I wear a pair of $20. $20 beat ass. eBay used chucks. eBay used chucks. I love it. You know, so. I love it. Timeless classic. And yeah, man. I, I see some chucks here that are cool. Also, like I want to show you this custom pair that Fogart did for me. Splatter. Splatter Air Force Ones. The idea was to kind of recreate the, the the idea of somebody actually wearing these in a work like in a like in a in a workshop in a workshop, and then he kind of did like I think 25 falls of paint on these or something. It's crazy though. Yeah. And then we've got the. You gotta have some crispy. Some plain whites. Some crispy Air Forces. Uh, Thank you. Thank you to Cred for powering this. Yeah, thank you to Cred for thank sure. Thank you guys for watching and uh, we you know, like, comment, subscribe, watch Thar on Netflix. Yeah, May 6th worldwide. May 6th worldwide. Really exciting film. Check it out. Write to me. Let us know.